The Financial Week. A very good evening to you. This is your Financial Week. I'm Dwayne Burbick. The Bank of Jamaica is being called to review the policy which has caused banks to start charging fees for U.S. dollar deposits over a certain amount. Mr. Razan told the Financial Week today that the fee is counterproductive. When somebody withdraws cash out of their current bank account, U.S. bank account, that they have, that they've converted their Jamaican currency to, they withdraw it and then they spend it, but then when they go to put it back in there, say $1,500, anything over 500 U.S. dollar currency they're putting back in their bank account that they withdrew, they have to pay a 2 point something percent or whatever the fees at the bank. That that de-incentivize people from taking their U.S. currency to the bank. You go to any bank in the U.S. or anywhere else in the world, you can take up to $9,999 and lodge it without a charge. The fees were implemented as part of the Bank of Jamaica's push to discourage Jamaicans from holding bank accounts in U.S. dollars. But Mr. Azan says the aim will not work. their policy over the many years has created that dollarized economy. Yes. Now what they're trying to do is turn that around in an artificial way and forcing people to do things. But it ain't going to happen because Jamaican people are not stupid at all. Nobody is going to take their U.S. currency and put it into Jamaican currency until they absolutely need it. In the meantime, the U.S. dollar settled at $130.81 today. The Canadian dollar is selling for $106.42. The pound sterling now goes for $176.75, while the euro costs $157.29. The acquisition of Alpart by Chinese firm Jisco has been finalized. Mining Minister Mike Henry today signed three agreements with Jisco in China. These are the Establishment Agreement, the Fiscal Regime Agreement, and the Agency and Land Use Agreement. The documents outline the agreements between the government and GISCO relating to its ownership, operation and build-out of the Alpart Alumina Works at Nain in St. Elizabeth. Mr. Henry says the signing of the three agreements will result in the inflow of at least one billion U.S. dollars in investment in Jamaica and the creation of 800 jobs. The JC Market Index gained more than 521 points today while the Junior Market Index was unchanged. Stocks posting gains included Berger Paints, Carreras, Jamaica Brawlers, Laska Financial, Panjam, the Scotia Group, and Supreme Ventures. On the losing end were 1834 Investments, CAC 2000, Derriman Trading, Jamaica Producers, the JMB Group, Mayberry Investments, Proven Investments, and Stationery and Office Supplies. And that's your Financial Week. I'm Dwayne Burbick. Good evening.